What's going on everybody? Lone Gemini here trying to keep y'all up to date on this Easter egg and what I'm trying to do. I'm taking your comments into consideration. Just, you know, trying to anything I can get my hands on. Today we're going to kill some zombies under the traffic light. And I'm going to update y'all on what I'm doing with the laundromat doors and how the orange orb moves from the traffic light to the box. Now some of this stuff y'all have already known. I'm... Keeping up with the NGT Zombies channel on YouTube, it's quite popular, a lot of people know about it. Uh, it's Next Gen Tactics Zombies. Um, Spider Bite on that channel, he does a lot of good stuff. He's trying to figure this stuff out just like I am. So, let's go community, let's try to figure this shit out. Alright, so I had a couple comments on trying to get the jet gun on the laundromat doors. Nothing really happened. You know, I figured this might be something that we could do, you know, myself. But uh, like I said, I also had some comments on it. So I'm kind of just shooting the doors. Nothing really happens on either one. I'll show you both. They're kind of short clips, but. So. Ixne on the jet gun. It doesn't really do anything to the doors. It might be used for something else. But. So far, nothing on these. Um. So after the jet gun on the doors, I tried the jet gun on the traffic lights. Once again, no luck on that. So I don't really think the jet gun has anything to do with the Easter egg other than Rick Toffin's heating up the obelisk. Um, if y'all have been following my channel, you know that I'm doing the Dr. Max's side. And that is a side I'm going to stick to because I, I only really have one person who's helping me out with this. You know, big shout out to Slick. He's really been, you know, kind of there being my little, go do this, go do that, hold the zombie, just wait. Um, so I really appreciate his help on this. Alright, so since the jet gun's kind of been ruled out, the next thing I'm going to show you is killing the zombies under the traffic light. Nothing really happens with this either. Um, oh, side note, by the way. I had a comment on my last video on the laundromat doors about the noise that I heard. Someone said that that was when you lose one of your perma perks. I don't know if that's true. It sounds plausible. It sounds right because I do hear the noise quite a bit sometimes. Um, and then I have to get my headshot back, or I have to, you know, get, build the doors again, or do whatever I've done. I've never lost the quick revive, so I'm not sure how you lose a perma perk, but I do think the noise is tied in with that because when I heard the noise, I uh, I was punching a zombie. I wasn't shooting, so I'm thinking I lost the headshot one. But anyway, anyway, I'm doing my best here to try to keep them under the, or over the lava try to just kill him on the lava under the street lamps I don't really think anything happens so I'm kind of thinking this has nothing to do with the continuation of the Easter egg so as far as killing zombies under the lights I think that's ruled out as a next step um, one thing that I've heard though you know following NGT zombies is that you need to have commitment to the side that you are doing. In other words, if you're doing Richtofen side, you need to stick with Richtofen, what he's saying. Don't try to do the other part of the Easter egg with Maxis, you know. Because the last one that you do is the one that's set on the tower. So if, if you've done Richtofen side, the tower is going to stay blue or purplish or whatever it is. And if you do the Dr. Maxis side, it'll reset and then you got to start all over. So what I think is. And it's a video that NGT just put out was that you you pick a side and you stay with that side and commit to it and over time the Easter egg will develop. So you just have to pick a side and stay with that side and don't change anything about that. Um, another thing, I didn't really expect the electric dude to come or the Avogadro to spawn, but I figured maybe if we kill him in the town. I tried to get him onto the lights, but I didn't feel like dying and that just... You know, I couldn't throw the EMP under there anyway, so I kind of just killed him in the town. Nothing happened. Um, you know, th there's not a lot of stuff that 
has progressed in this video. I'm just showing y'all what I've been trying to do, trying to keep y'all updated on what I'm, you know, attempting here. And, you know, I'm trying to do my best to figure this out. I'm trying to stay committed to the Dr. Max's side because I've heard that the longer you stay with the Easter egg on that side and don't, you know, have it reset to the other side, the more lights you see, the more noises you hear, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all I'm trying to show y'all is just, you know, general commitment to this goddamn Easter egg and trying to figure out where it goes from here. I really think we're going to have to wait to DLCs to figure it out. But all right. So here's my theory on what has to happen next. Um, you know how the orange light goes from the street lamp to the box. Now, I'm shooting the traffic light that I saw with the orange light with the gun that got the orange glow. Now, when I shoot these lights you can hear a small little noise and it's you know once again it might not be anything it might be something I was talking through it that time but you know when I play it the second time I'll shut up now the Galil is the gun I got the orange glow on you can't really see it because I'm in the power room but I'll slow it down to where you can see that it's actually the orange glow coming out of the box it's not Photoshop so don't give me that kind of bullshit um, it's the gun that had the orange glow and this was my theory was to get that gun and to bring it to the town and Then shoot the traffic light that you see the orange glow on I'll shut up to where you can now hear it All right, so maybe maybe it's nothing. I, I don't really know. Maybe you can even get the noise when you shoot it with a regular gun. I'm not really sure. I haven't gone too far into that. Um, so I, I guess I'll just have to figure it out. Just, just keep trucking along. Like I said, just stay committed to the side that you're doing. And hopefully more stuff will appear. There's been a lot of cryptic messages from the you know the the producers of this game so they they want you to just keep fucking around with it and and just do that just just keep experimenting let people know if you find anything out um in the background i'm just showing you more stuff i was trying to do throw grenades at it throw emps at it shoot the gun with the orange glow at it just just do everything that i could possibly think of i also heard that this back door when you shoot a pack a punch weapon at it or throw Semtex at it, it would, um, you could actually go through it, and that's true, I, I shoot the Pack-a-Punch M16 at it, and it goes through the door, so, I don't know if that's a glitch, or, or what that is, but, you know, it doesn't really seem like it's much, but, you know, it's certainly something, so that's about it that I got for you guys, um, I have yet to get the light to appear on the laundromat door since the video I posted of it. So maybe... Maybe it's just one step and then you find the next light and do that. I don't really know, but this is what I got for you guys. I'm trying to figure stuff out. Nothing... You know, no solid evidence has come up yet, so I'm kind of still trucking along. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this may help you in something that you found. If not... I'm going to keep researching and trying to figure this stuff out. So, all right, guys. As always, it's been Lunch Oven. Until next time.